Welcome to this quick tutorial on using the Browser Speech Synthesis API for text-to-speech. I'll show you how to convert text into speech using JavaScript and the Browser Speech Synthesis API. We'll also look at how to control the speech, allowing you to pause, resume, and stop the speech as you like. With further ado, let's get started. What is Speech Synthesis? The Speech Synthesis API is a JavaScript API that allows to integrate text-to-speech TTS, capabilities into web applications. This also allows control of the voice, pitch, rate, and volume of the synthesized speech, providing flexibility in how the spoken output sounds. The Browser Speech Synthesis API is supported in modern browsers like Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. Check the documentation for the latest updates on compatibility. I'm using Microsoft Edge for this demo. Here's a basic example of how to use the Speech Synthesis API in JavaScript. I've created a simple HTML file with a button labeled Speak. When we click this button, it will trigger the speak function, which is defined in the script.js file. Now, let's dive into the code and define the speak function. First, we'll create an instance of the speech synthesis utterance. This object represents a speech request and contains the text that we want to be spoken. This object contains information about the voices we can use to speak the text. To get the list of available voices, we call the getVoices method of the speech synthesis object. This method returns an array of speech synthesis voice objects. For this demonstration, we'll keep it simple and just use the first voice from the array. We'll set it as the voice for our utterance. Finally, we'll call the speak method of the speech synthesis object to make the text come to life. Let's see how it works in action. When I click the speak button, we should be able to hear the text being spoken. Don't forget to subscribe. With just a few lines of code, we can add text-to-speech functionality to any website or application. But wait! There's more. I am going to create a simple text-to-speech application. It'll have a text area, a drop-down to select the voice, and a button to trigger the speech synthesis. We'll also add buttons to control the speech, to stop, pause, and resume the speech. I am using a React app for this demo, but you can use any framework or library you prefer. I've created a new React app with a text area, a drop-down, and a button to save some time, but right now, it's just a static page with no functionality. Let's add some functionality to this app. I'm creating a new file called usetextospeech.js. This file will contain all the code for the speech synthesis, and it will be a custom hook, making it easy to reuse in other components. First, I'll create a state for the voices list. We'll use this list to populate the dropdown. On component mount, we get the list of voices from the speech synthesis object and set it to the voices state. Next, I created the speak function. This function accepts the text to be spoken and the voice to be used for the speech as arguments. I will keep speak function outside the hook for better code readability. Inside the speak function, we create a new instance of speech synthesis utterance. We don't pass text during construction, instead, we set the text using the text property. Then, we set the voice using the voice property and call the speak method to bring the text to life. When the speech ends, the onEnd event is fired if we want to do something after the speech ends. We can add an event listener to the onEnd event. For this demo, we'll not add any event listener. At the end of the hook, we return the speak function, the voices list, pause, resume, and stop functions. Now, let's put this hook to use in our component. First, we import the hook and call it inside the component. At the top of the component, we use the hook to get all the exported values. I mapped the list of voices to the drop-down options. When a voice was selected from the drop-down, we updated the selected voice state variable. I added the speak, pause, resume, and stop functionality to the component. And, when I click the start button, it triggers the speech synthesis. Don't forget to subscribe. Try it out yourself. You can find the code and working demo link in the description below. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video if you find it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. I'll see you in the next video.